back where we immediately left off. Now what? sent you. Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Ew. Ew. Who died and made you boss? Joe Piscopo? Take a hike, squirt. Damn it. Her syllable of the correct response sounds the same as the syllable. Oh, God. Who said you were worthy? Doris Day? Who is the king of Siam? Euronymous Bosch? Oh my god. Who said you were worthy? The old gray mare? What will you do if I let you inside? Sidle up to your boss? Where do you want to be tomorrow? You want to be tomorrow? Live Vermore. Damn it! Who said you were worthy? The old gray mare? What will you do if I let you inside? Sidle up to your boss? Where do you want to be tomorrow? Inglewood. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Who said you were worthy? The old gray mare. The old gray mare? What will you do tomorrow? Radio for help? Damn it. Who is the king of Siam? Joe Piscopo? Son of a bitch. Who is the king of Siam? Bruce Springsteen? Who said you were worthy? The old gray mare. The old gray mare? What will you do tomorrow? Read a book? Who died and made you boss? Euronymous Bosch? Who died and made you boss? Joe Piscopo? Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Doris Day? What will you do if I break your leg? Break your leg. Lego your ego? Where do you want to be tomorrow? Hill Valley. Who told you to come here? Joe Piscopo. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Doris Day? What will you do if there's a raid? Radio for help? Where do you hang your hat? Hattiesburg. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Uh... Oh my god, that took four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big 
Hell Kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Michael Corleone. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Mikey Corleone here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> hey, bartender. What'll it be? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having tipped off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. I'm looking for a cop named Parker. Dan, this is your lucky night. He's sitting next to you. Him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Hey, I know you. You're... Parker. Osfer, Danny, Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? You look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now, about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter. Would you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here.
Okay. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. Come on. All your fears are foolish, fancy, maybe. You know, Danny. No. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Gotta swap the music. Music can seduce the mind. Whisper in my ear, so no one can hear. Secrets are for sharing love, they're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear, so no one can hear. Shh. Whisper in my ear, let me read you soft and clear. Don't make it for tea. Danny. You. So about that secret. Oh, yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal. So I can tell you. But don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way. While evidence is getting destroyed, or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and Tannen. Make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigation evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh god. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Come on. They say I'm crazy. 
Crazy got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. My Danny, you. Trust me, things will get better. Care. Just keep listening care. to the music. Why? None of the words what help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't care. I don't care. If I do get the mean and stony stare. If I'm never successful, it won't be distressful. Because I don't care. What is this feeling that has me in its grip? What has me on the edge and curling my lip? Worse in the blues or the front page news? It's rage. I'm overflowing. I've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too. They tell me that there's not a thing I can do. There's no consoling. Danny. And there's no you. controlling this rage. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. No, yo. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in it. Hang in there, Danny. <laughs> oh, God. Bless me. Oh, God. Force of nature. Glitch. Hey, Artie. He's back. Donate to the clock tower fund. What's wrong with the clock tower? It's not broken, is it? Not in the slightest. Who? It's just painfully drab. I'm raising funds to commission a sculptor to place a couple of handsome ornamental statues on either side of the clock face. Something to inspire the citizens to do their civic duty. Something like lions? Or gargoyles. You can't beat a good gargoyle. Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Oh, God. Catchy. <clears throat> you really think so? Yeah, it's, uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. Hey. I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Officer Parker reformed. He has? Really? Uh, soon. Just you wait. Hmm. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight.
Emmett. No, no, no time for chit chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. Emmett! You get down from there before you hurt yourself! Hurt myself? <laughs> You're far too cautious, Miss Strickland. Come on now. Welcome back, sir. And we're out of time. Parker's still parked. I'll see you guys next episode.